a presidential historian at American University. He joins us live now. Alan, thank you so much for your time. So as you've heard there, uh, President Biden sidestepping these criminal charges in his classified documents case, but the special counsel has well and truly put Biden's age and mental fitness into the public domain now. The president of the United States couldn't remember when he served as vice president. He also couldn't remember with specificity about the uh, timing, the exact timing of the uh, passing of his own son. So how damaging is this for his 2024 campaign? It's out there now. It's all in the open. He can't run away from this anymore. It certainly doesn't help because this has been the focal point of the Republican attack on Joe Biden. That, you know, he's old, he's feeble, he's not mentally sharp and not capable of shouldering four more years. We've seen this movie before, though. In 1944, when Franklin Roosevelt was running for a third term, the knock on him was, he's sick, he's declining, he can't deal with another term. Same thing with Ronald Reagan when he ran in 1984. Of course, they both won in big landslides. FDR, in fact, did die shortly after his fourth term, but Ronald Reagan served a full second term. But I have to say, this report from the special counsel was a disgrace. If you're not charging someone, you don't attack them with your personal opinions, your views, your innuendo. James Comey was roundly and rightly condemned for doing this back in 2016 when he decided not to charge Hillary Clinton but went on a rant against her. Now we've seen the same thing from Mr. Her, and it is totally inappropriate. You know, if this had been done to any ordinary citizen, you know, there would be howls of outrage if you're not charging someone you don't attack them with your official imprimatur that's filled with your own personal opinions and innuendos that have nothing to do with the charges which don't exist well alan the reality is though the american people do deserve an explanation into what's happened here and that's exactly what her has attempted to provide here this is a very high profile classified documents case and while the president has sidestepped any charges here there has to be some kind of an explanation into exactly how her has come to that conclusion which is why he has outlined some of these points and in so doing he said mr biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview with him as a sympathetic well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory and of course president biden has defended himself that's absolutely fair but at the same time as i just said confuse the Egyptian president with the Mexican president. That's the third time Look, this week that he's made a mistake yeah, with a world leader. It, it, it's fair game uh, to challenge Biden's mental acuity. The third time, Alan. But, but. Three this times. That's pretty, un lawyer that's pretty is unprecedented. Not a doctor. Three he times. He is not an expert. He has no business talking about what Joe Biden might present himself as a befuddled old man. That's an outrage. That is a personal attack that has nothing so to do with the So do you think he remains the nominee? The charges. Of course he remains the nominee. Despite Does he remain the smear, nominee? This absolute smear by the special counsel has gone way beyond what he needed to do. Uh, as I said, the policy of the Justice Department typically is if you don't charge someone you don't attack them with your personal opinions. That was the grave mistake that James Comey made, and Mr. Harris seems to have learned absolutely nothing.